Oh my fucking gosh, you guys. Hi, friends. Um, Holy shit. So the gods of the internet have smiled upon us today. <laughs> we... Um, what do you care to explain, is it? So we actually had an episode after this already <laughs> recorded, uh, and partway through we got, like, blue screen. Blue screen of death, um, which, you know, like, there's no way anyone can expect the, yeah, un- the Spanish Inquisition. No one expects the blue screen of Inquisition. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and then we were like, oh, fuck, we're going to have to figure out where we were, and it's going to have to replay it, and anyway, autosave! Right so, where we left so, <laughs> so Yeah, so, like, the previous episode stopped, and then we recorded, like, 90% of the next episode. Yes. Lost that whole episode, but we were like... Oh fuck! Not only do we have to replay that whole episode, we also have to replay the, the last end of minutes. the last, the previous yeah. episode, because we didn't get a save point for ages before we got to here. But, but here it is. Somehow the auto save is exactly where we finished the last. So episode. that's wild. So I think we just, need to go chat with these people. We're just, know. I'm just uh, like I'm flawed. I you just deleted the audio when we found it, which I was like, oh, you should have kept that because yeah, I lost, I lost it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee, there's no need to be so impatient. We'll get to see the baby just as soon as the colloquy of kings is done. The round table I fuckheads. think they might be getting started with that any minute now. Actually, I saw King Irwin head into the courtyard with King Carnelian. Evil Pants McGee. Mmm. Okay. Talk to creepy... Hello, other king. Fun hat guy. The ruler? I can't remember what, what, is, what was his voice like. Like, finish. Blank. <laughs> yeah, I looked over. Uh, and I was just staring. <laughs> like mm. that's like that's like um, Greta Thurberg. Yeah. Thurberg, well, I bit. don't know. Yes. Um, I mean, she's not finished, but um, oh fuck, I can't do it without listening to it first. The rulers of all four kingdoms brought together for a great summit. There will be fireworks, I'm sure. He's just talking to himself, right? And luckily for me, I have a front row seat. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Cool. Mm, a bit weirdo. So clearly, we, so we've played another. Mm. Soldier does not move muscle. He doesn't seem to be aware of Nudel's presence. Oh, uh, yeah. So obviously we've played like another, what, half an hour, 45 minutes. King Irwin has proven himself to be a wise and benevolent ruler, as well as a mighty warrior. And now his son turns out to be the luminary. He's certainly not wanting for plaudits, that one. It's not a word you see very often. No. How in heaven is one expected to bring a child up to be a hero and a saviour? The mere thought of that kind of pressure is simply terrifying. That's a good point, random lady. Luckily, we didn't have to deal with that because our whole family got murdered. <laughs> <laughs> the birth of the luminary brings a promise of peace for all area. Let all be as Yggdrasil wills it. Cool. Oh. Grevens, the birth of a wee prince has brought the poshest folk from all four kingdoms up to the castle. I have to be on my best behaviour today. <laughs> yeah, we're so good at voices and accents. Yeah, yeah, professional. Ooh, hi. What's happening here? King Carnelian, Lord Robert, I will be convening the colloquy shortly, if you'd like to make ready. Lord Robert informs me that the boy bears the mark. That he is the luminary reborn. Fuck face. So by this point, he's already infected with Mordigan, right? I'm pretty sure because... Clearly. Because we he die is, really... It? Like, the, the, the castle gets attacked really soon. Mm. Well, we've just been born. Yeah. So presumably there's a few months. Yeah. Although video game representations of babies is not necessarily super accurate. We could be two days old. Yeah. So. So, yeah, I think he's probably evil. That's I mean, look at his hair. Yeah, he's... I've he's... decided to present him to you all at the colloquy. The sight of so many people gathered to celebrate his birth has brought home to me how important he is. How much hope the light he brings represents... Save it for the meeting, Owen. What a dick. Rude. You're not like the king of all kings. You're just one king amongst many. Don't take it to heart, laddie. The fate of all Erdria hangs in the luminary now. Not everyone's going to be happy about that. 
Now we had a long conversation last time when we deleted, when we lost the episode. We were trying to figure out, well, maybe it wasn't in the last episode. Who knows? It's been a long time. Like, oh, their relationship to each other. And we did figure Reb out that is, we did. Reb is we his mum's dad, and this guy married in. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Oh. Well, why is he King Fancy Pants in charge? Why isn't he just the Prince Consort? I don't fucking know. Right. It's nearly time. Why don't you go and fetch the wee one from Eleanor's like chambers? Crown. Because he definitely talks about Eleanor as being his daughter, eh? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Well, that's really sexist. Um, cool. So, I can investigate whatever the fuck I like. Yeah. I think last time you were in control for this bit. I think I was. You were, like, really impatient to get to the next thing. I think we just go anywhere we like. What have you got to say? How many times do I have to tell you, you big galoot? Queen Eleanor's chambers are through that door and on the left. Hurry up before King Erwin gets here. Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm new here. Okay, I see a save point. I see a health vial. Let's save. I do feel honoured to have been asked to say a few words when Prince Nudel is presented to his future subjects, but when I look at all these people, I can't help but feel nervous. You seem quite young. It's probably best if I don't think about it too much and just focus on my ordinarily, ordinary priestly duties instead. Now then. You've got a ghost hanging over your shoulder, mate. <laughs> How do you even see that we're here? I suppose he is a priest. He's a priest. Priests have special powers. <laughs> if anyone can save us. <laughs> so I'm saving over this? Or do you want me to just like no, 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 go no, somewhere no. else go and somewhere make else. a special file? Yeah. Whew. Tell you what, team. Losing a game is just... Sucks. It's just brutal. It's it just... Oops. me, 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 me. me. It's nothing to make you feel less like playing, to be like, oh, I have to play through a bit that I've already played. But then the relief, the relief in the autosave pulls through for you. Yeah. We Princess Jade really does look like her mother. Poor Hen, she was so young when she passed. The door oh, won't budge. Okay. Uh, we couldn't find anything downstairs, could we? No. I'm just going to double check. Do, because there were sewer things, so maybe there was something down treasure. there. Might have treasure. Yeah. Oh, hello. What do you want? Oh, no. Well, there they go. King Erwin, King Carnelian, and Lord Robert all off upstairs. I hope, I suppose the colloquy of kings will be getting started soon then. As his husband was just being a creeper. He just touched my neck <laughs> unexpectedly. <laughs> Okay. Banquet Hall? Not Banquet Hall. Banquet Hall for the plebs. Random guy. Queen Eleanor must be delighted to have given birth to the luminary. I'm sure he'll be a feisty wee fellow. After all, his mother was more than a handful in her day. Ah, but you could always tell there was something special about her. Ah, listen to me talking about myself. Come on, you, back to work. Uh, at least they acknowledge that you saw- <gasps> Pots! Can we have dream treasure? <gasps> It'd be like a ghost smashing <gasps> dream treasure. Pots in the corner. They'd be like, what the fuck was that? Imagine if this is not a dream, but like. We've traveled through time. Yes. Extra creepy. I like it. Mm. Downstairs. What's out here, though? I just got dream treasure. Oh, this is where we were. Okay, cool. Upstairs it is. Downstairs. Down the stairs. I don't recall there being anything. I think the doors were both locked at both ends, but was there stuff on the ground? Well, there's these weird things that look like they're secret tunnels, but they're not. They're just like fun. They're like weird aqueducts. Yeah. I feel like if this was an actual castle, there'd be like for peeing, people peeing it. Yeah, they would. But here they're like, you're a pretty wee thing. I'm friends with all the royal families, you know. I could introduce you to a prince or two if you're interested. Uh-huh. Sure you could. A prince? Crivens! 
Yeah, that's definitely pee water. Definitely pee water. Mm. Nice. Oh, actually, I do remember something we found. It was like a book or something, right? Ooh, I don't remember. I think it was a book. Because remember how we were talking about how there were like really old books and we were like, um, lots of them. We keep coming across books that like people that's like, like the oh. book is old and damaged and he doesn't understand what's in it. Or and, and like he might not be ready for this. And I was like, I feel like that we might time travel at some point mm. because. Books. At some point we'll be ready for the books. Yeah. Yeah. Or gain the power to make things move through time? I don't know. Yeah. Have I checked the end door? No. Okay. So that's all that's down here. But interesting sort of area. Yes, I like to make sure we explore all the things. So now we can go to the Colloquy of Kings. And it can be seen that some of our um, viewers like that we checked all the things too. Because uh, some people <laughs> were just commenting on our Witcher Shh. episodes being like, oh my gosh, these people leave things so many things behind. <laughs> I thought we grabbed things. <laughs> I think we're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it cracked me up. I wasn't upset about it. Don't no, worry. It no. was you. Don't worry. I wasn't. I wasn't mad. I just thought it was. Funny. It was just like a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, random little guy. I remember oh, we talked yeah. to him last time. Mm, mm, oh, I wish Lord Robert had never told me about the Book of Erdwin. I can't stop thinking about what it says about. Oh no, I mustn't think about that. Today we celebrate the birth of Prince Nudel, and to heck with everything else. The Book of Erdwin. Now, do uh, we know anything Erdwin, about that? Yes, we do. Um, it foretells like the downfall and stuff, doesn't it? Uh, um, which one's She's the one I'm supposed to go through? That one, I think. She's this one to the yes, left. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you guys. I want to talk to our mum. Make sure you get a good shot because I want her to be the thumbnail, I think. Oh, uh, bad He's so tiny. Can I touch him, Lady Eleanor? I promise I'll be careful. Like, why isn't she your highness? Why is she just a lady? She's the princess, queen. She's a queen, right? Mm. Hmm. She better have a Scottish accent. <laughs> I think he likes you, Jade. Oh. He wants to play. He's a very special boy, you know. They call him the Luminary. People have all sorts of hopes for him. No pressure. Mm. But I just hope he grows up to be like his father. Also, no that pressure. He can help people to overcome their problems, just as Erwin does. I think the thing that's putting me off is that there's the Book of Erdwin, and the dad is called Erwin. Oh yes. Spelled differently. It sounds like. Yes. I hope he grows up to be nice and kind like you, Lady Eleanor. <laughs> King Erwin! <laughs> the colloquy's about to start, Eleanor. Will you hand me the wee one? No, oh, bubble. All right, wee man. Let's go and talk to some scary old men, shall we? Don't worry. Daddy will look after you. <laughs> oh, Erwin. You don't need to hold on to him so tight, you know. Let the poor boy breathe. Don't drop him, though. Would you look at it thundering away out there? And on such a special day, too. It's making me feel uneasy. So this may actually be the night. Yep, because there was a thunderstorm, right? That's right. Come on now, Eleanor. There's nothing to worry about. 
We'll keep you safe no matter what, won't we, wee man? And what about me, hmm? You also will have to run for your life, small child. <laughs> no one's exempt. Hey, you don't need me to protect you, Jade. You've got King Carnelian. Your dad's a force to be reckoned with, and no mistake. <laughs> right. We better get this meeting started. I'll see you later, Eleanor. Oh, good luck. Oh, both of you. It's sad. I think we decided last time that actually, uh, the King, uh, Irwin is just like standing in for oh, the Queen. Oh, she's just given because birth. she's just given birth. She's having a well-deserved break. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Because otherwise it's bullshit. So he's supporting his wife. Yeah, yeah. as he should. Goodies. Opening your cupboards. I'm a ghost and I'm opening ghost your goodies, cupboards. Ghost goodies, ghost goodies. <gasps> <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh, a book. Uh, there's a book called The Book ah. of the Erdwin. Mm -hmm. takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Chapter 1, Song of Beginnings. World Tree's Gift, First of Many. Bold, Bright, Blessed, Luminary. Oh, I remember you making fun of the rhyming. Uh, thy light doth the shadow cast. Lo, the dark one, bleak, black, vast. Chapter 2, Song of Prayer. World Tree's foot a plea a prayer ringeth through the mountain air. Babe is born, trees will revealed. Serenica, luminary shield. Yep, Serenica. The book is filled with many more such important sounding poems. Nudel closes it carefully. Um, I remember they lie, they like added if on the end of stuff to make it rhyme, and you made fun of that. <laughs> Good memory. You like seeketh the something, -eth, you know. I'm going to be your big sister, Nudel. Let's play together all the time when you get bigger. Thanks. Is someone there? Who are you talking to, Lady Eleanor? There's nobody there. No, no, of course not. Sorry, dear, it's just, well, it was the strangest thing. Oh, Mum. I know Irwin's taken little Nudel to the colloquy, but it's as though I can still see, sense him here in the room. I feel his warmth. Ugh, oh, but this isn't the time for that kind of nonsense. It's my wee one's big day. I mustn't let myself get distracted. Oh, Mum. Nodell probably has no memories of her, right? No, he wouldn't. Hang on, I'm trying to get a good shot for you, but probably you can. I'll just, just take from it from the, the cutscene. Yeah, I'll take it from the cutscene. Um, smiley face. Smiley <laughs> face. You have nothing but a smiley face to me. Oop dookie. Oh, it makes me sad. It's pretty sad. Okay, question. Question. Do you want to... No, I'm just going to go in. I was going to like, do you want to like make an extra save point and stop and start the recording just in no. case it blue screens your computer again? Oh, look, more books. More books. It looks like an old diary of Rab's. Nudal takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Ever since the day I ceded the throne to young Irwin... The lad has poured his heart and soul into making Dundrasil the greatest kingdom it can possibly be. He was never raised as royalty, and I must admit I shared some of my subjects' doubt about whether or not he was truly suited to, the, to rule at first. But now I know I made the right choice. He soon gained their trust and respect, and mine as well. The entire nation is united behind him. My dear Eleanor has made a very fine choice of husband indeed, which means I can get on with enjoying my retirement. Mm. Royalty well, didn't really have a concept of retirement. Yeah, that wasn't really a thing. People would just die or get murdered or both. Mm. I mean, generally, if you get murdered, <laughs> you die, but you know. Mm -mm. Ach, I cannot believe it. Lord Rubber's been hiding his magazines. Oh, I'm uh, again. It's only been a few days since Queen Eleanor confiscated the last lot. Okay, so she is the queen. She's not like. Yeah, it's all good. Seems all, seems all good. 
this so where am I going? Why leaving, can I only leave this way? Yeah. I think to the other end where the door was locked. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna save again. Yes. Although saving is all well and good, it's the file. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, do you wanna like stop the record? Like no. Nah. Nah. Keep we'll, it. We'll do another 20 minutes. <laughs> Roll the dice. <sighs> Peeking a little bit. Okay. Alright, let's go. Colloquy of Kings. Let it unfold. Of murdering fucking fuckfaces. Their hat is so stupid. I mean, all their hats this are stupid. This child, he is the one. Evil, evil man. He bears the mark. There's no mistaking it. That's an unusually small Dark basket. Dark one riseth, tree descendeth, luminary, man defendeth. <laughs> Light's mark shineth, hand extendeth. With his coming, black night endeth. The final poem in the book of Erdwin. The legends tell us that the Dark One was defeated by the Luminary in the Age of Heroes, Earth. bringing eternal peace to the world. Earth. The world is defendeth. But, as I'm sure you haven't failed to notice, Landeth. monsters walk the land once Peaceth. more. The peace of Erdria <laughs> is under threat. <laughs> the kingdom of Svardzrost has already fallen at the wicked creature's hands, and King Arnut with it. He will be sorely missed. So why... Okay. So, Svardzrost and all its people just gone. gone. Full stop. No remaining heirs. So King Carnelian has already just smashed that. Hmm, presumably. Mm. <sighs> And now a child has been born who bears the mark. Which brings us to a reason for gathering here today. What does all this mean for Erdria? It means you can't fucking die. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Why are they all men? You speak of the Dark One. Of monsters running wild, of the peace of centuries crumbling. But surely the birth of the child signals an end to our woes. Uh. Now that the luminary is among us, the balance can be restored, the peace can be maintained. All is well, is it not? <laughs> You believe that the presence of the Luminary will ensure that peace prevails. Can you be certain? No, but... I mean, it literally says in the book that it will solve bad things, not that peace happens all the time, right? Forgive me, Lord Robert, but the Book of Erdwin contains another poem concerning this matter, does it not? It does. The very first poem. The prophecy. World tree's gift, first of many. Bold, bright, blessed luminary. Thy light doth a shadow cast. Lo, the dark one, bleak, black, vast. What are the two of you implying? That the luminary uh, causes the appearance of the dark one? This is why I was calling one. it the Council of Fuckfaces. Yeah, yeah, we had a big Without discussion about light, this. there cannot be shadow. Without darkness, the stars cannot shine. 
This has always been the way of the world. I don't know, if you've ever fallen over a table in the dark, you know that there is, you know, dark without fucking light, light. to provide, <laughs> provide shadow. I'm just... <laughs> uh, that is a pretty uh, pretty bad metaphor there. Yeah, and I know they say that, like, the luminary shine, like, the, the palm... Without darkness, the stars cannot shine? I mean, like, sure, if you don't know how stars work, but... I mean, the stars are still there. <laughs> yeah, I, I just... Even though that first poem says, like, the luminary shines bright and casts a shadow and then the darkness. Nah. But it's we a, know it's that a false equivalence. It is. Right? Like, yes. We're, we're, like, they're saying because. Well, mm. no. The poem clearly says that the luminary is blessed, you know? Like, mm -mm -mm. bringing peace, blah, blah. Like, you can't just, like, it's like the classic thing that, like, like, shitty Christians do <laughs> where they like take like one phrase completely out of context oh. and they're like this justifies everything and it's like you Stop. can't take that out of context from all the other things that are said and the meaning that's in there you know yeah anyway darkness and light must coexist so indeed the birth of the luminary may well be what causes the dark one to awaken. However, they know that fucking Zwardras has already been destroyed, and that would have been before. Before he was born. The birth Good of the point. fucking luminary. Good point. So the darkness is already existing in the world, you yeah. shitheads. Yeah, and you can just as easily, because you don't have any evidence, you can just as easily make the exact same argument in reverse. So You don't fucking know. And certainly, as, as it says, the evidence backs up that that's not the case. Mm. Fucking use evidence, bitches. Or you'll get the smack. You dare to imply that my son is somehow the source of our troubles? That the luminary isn't a force for good? Can we be certain that he is? Evil does not always take a monstrous form. After it's all. a baby! Some, sometimes evil looks like four men sitting around a, a room talking about a baby. Mm. You must have noticed the sinister glow emitted by Erdwin's lantern of late. Ever since your child was born, in fact. What are you trying to... Oh. The star sings at night, you know. I, I have heard it. It sings of Erdria's destruction. Weird bassinet. Is right. The person who designed the 3D model for that bassinet has clearly never had a baby. No. Or been around a baby because you don't make a bassinet that only works for two weeks of a kid's life before they grow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dumbass. Sorry. Whoever designed that, it's wrong. It's wrong. Ah, oh, don't you start. Ominous footsteps approach. We all hear them. Yeah, but it does. You, it, it's a false equivalence. Fucking As the dickies. leaders of this world, we owe it to our people to root out even the slightest hint of evil at its source. So you think, what, you're going to kill a baby? Mm. You don't think that that might be a sign of a bit of evil? Mm. Even when that source is painfully close to home. Why don't you just come out and say it? You're asking me to kill my own son! My own flesh and blood! <laughs> Something happened. Not long before the child was born. I'm sure some of you saw it. Through the candles, yeah. Went. Great yeah, camera movement. Blinding light shot up from Yggdrasil and set the sky aglow. For a moment, it seemed that night had become day. We saw that same light on the evening he was born. It was shining from the mark on his hand. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the child coming out the of the dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Force yeah. For good. <laughs> I have never been more certain of anything. He did not give rise to the darkness. He was sent to drive it out. Good on you, King Erwin. 
stick up for your not murdering your kid. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of the Light moment, <laughs> and dark are not two sides of the same coin. The light of the luminary is a gift. A gift that will cleanse the world of evil. Um. Oh, my thought's already gone. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, wouldn't it be crack up if all these people weren't evil, people at the table, and they like were like, Mm, sign of evil, better kill the luminary. Yeah. And then the bad guys came and they were all actually good guys and they were like, oh no, we fucking killed the luminary. Oh no. We're fucked now, aren't we? Serve them right. We're serving them right. Oh, that's right. A rousing performance indeed. <laughs> of course. If you had shown even a witless conviction, we would have had no choice but to remove the child from your care. We're, We're both shaking our heads. heads. <laughs> so, so I reckon he was playing it because he's the, we know he's the big bad, right? Yeah. He was playing it like he was trying to get rid of the luminary, but since obviously like things aren't going to go his way just by talking out, he's like, cool, 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 oh, cool, yeah. cool, cool. I was just testing you. Yeah. I was just testing you. But also, like, who the fuck are these guys to be like, we'll take the child from your care, like? That's not how kings work. Like, it's not how kingdoms work. Oh. Kingdoms are like independent of each other, unless this is some put sort of empire actually ruled by King Cornelian, which is not. No. Like, what are you gonna do? Take him by force from another king? In his king? own castle? In his own, yeah, exactly. Like, fuck off. His own guards? Yeah. Um, oh. And his father in law's there? The luminary is the child of Yggdrasil. He alone can bring light to the world. He must be protected at all costs. You fucker. I don't even care that he's like good now. I'm like, I still you're still like a him. fucker. I hope you will forgive us our little test, but we had to be sure how strongly you believed. <laughs> I am satisfied. Send him to Heliodor when he comes of age. He will be trained in all that he will need to fulfill his destiny. He doesn't go to Heliodor when he comes to age. He goes to the other place in the mountain. We must mm. confer upon the Luminary the power to lead us all. We learned that. That's where Rab went. King Carnelian. Everyone. I... I don't know what to say. You're Dex. You're all Dex. That's what you have to say. Mm. So I'm having a few mic problems, sorry if they come through on the recording. <clears throat> Do we get past this point? Yeah. Uh, uh, Not far. Ah, uh, very good. The most pressing item on our agenda is dealt with. And it ended just as I knew it would. <laughs> yeah. Now the matter is settled. Our kingdoms are united in their purpose. Oh. oh, I thought he handed it to the other evil guy. Let all be as Yggdrasil wills it. Okay. That concludes the colloquy. Now, all that remains is to introduce the luminary to his adoring public. Hmm. Thank you, King Carnelian. He is mad. Huge! <laughs> I love that we both realize that instantly at the same time. <laughs> My friends, I'd like to thank you all for coming. What the fuck? Now, dear. Uh, your Majesty! So this is new to us now, yeah? Uh, I feel like I haven't seen this. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, uh, what is it? You, you must flee the yeah, palace right. immediately. Monsters! Hundreds! Hundreds of monsters! Ugh. Larg, blarg, blarg, blarg. We are the yeah. same three monsters repeated over and over. Everyone, we have to get out of here now. Surely there would be like a shit ton of guards considering the fact that all of the leaders of the world are here 
Like, we should have got more notice than that, right? Okay, everyone's freaking out. Who was it that claimed that the Luminary would be our saviour? So far, he appears to be anything but. Fear not, your majesty! I will give my life to protect you if I must! In the name of Galopolis! Oh, he's from that place. Sorry. Wrong accent. Meh. Can this truly be happening? Are the monsters willing to destroy an entire kingdom to get their hands on a mere child? Mighty Yggdrasil, lend us your protection. May your blessed bowels be hold back these foul creatures. That's an awkward sentence. Ah. He's watching the door with silent resolve, determined to protect King Gustav at all costs. Silent man. You're dead. <laughs> There's no response. He's, He's dead. dead. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Uh, where did everyone else go? I guess they're out. Nope. Nah, we definitely didn't see this. Where is the luminary, Babs? Give him to us. They have come in force, but they shall not have the child. Lord Robert and I will keep them at bay. Take Eleanor and the child and flee the castle. Now! But King Carnelian, this is suicide! It's not, because Unless he actually is good up till this point and then you need not like... fret on my behalf. I am not in my dotage just yet. Now go! I get infected now. <gasps> yeah, maybe. Um, who knows? Hopefully we see. Thank you. Yeah. Both of you. Yeah, like, why are there, like, two guards in this whole place? It's oh, fucking shit. Bizarre. I just hope everyone made it to the throne room. I'll take all of you on if I have to. You'll never have the boy. Like, well, I think that's the reason why I'm suspicious. Oh, I'm gonna... Mwahaha, <laughs> foolish human worms. You will die protect to protect your precious luminary. Nice. The monster doesn't seem aware of Nudel's presence. Try to fight it? No. We don't have all our shit. Yes! Oh. Oh. I'm just kind of curious about what's happening. Okay, it looks like we can fight it. Ah! We can't, I don't think we can use our pep without anyone, though. Musifer! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, apparently we've got a double slice sword on. Oh, he's I didn't not think he'd be super strong just because of. Nice. The situation. Do, 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 do. Oh. do they react to that? No. no. They just keep going wave after wave of them. I don't know how long I'll be able to hold them off. Well, if I fucking fight them all for you, you'll be all right. I take three right. Hits Is that me. save point still there? Uh, no, because it was mm. over there, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just gonna go for our mum. Go for it. Go for it. We didn't get this far last time, friends. Ah, oh, King Erwin, there you are. We were so worried. You're alive. Oh, thank the heavens. When we saw the monsters coming, we feared the worst for you both. Never mind that now. We need to get out of here, all of us. Come on. We're just gonna look after them. Oh, I'm no glad. No what happens, Ooh, I will get you out of here. Oh, it's our dad, not us. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> He's got very big eyes. I'm kind of glad we have the armor on now. It's very, it's, it's correct. I like that they're, they've got like those crappy ass cloaks. Should I fight some more guys? I don't, I don't, I don't. The luminary, give him to me. He belongs not to you. He belongs to the Lord of Shadows. Let's fight it. I wonder if this is just like, you're in a situation where you maybe need to get some more XP. No, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna use up any good shit. Oh! Uh, bullshit. Okay, interesting. I wonder how many times you can do that. He looks like, um. Cell. Yeah! Hype. Hype. Hyperperexian. 
Hyperperixian. Hyperperixian. Alright, come on. Give it. Do you react to the fact that the monster's gone? That's one done, but there's so many more. Okay. Alright, well, we've explored everywhere, so we don't need to do that again. Nah. I just wanted a save point. I know. How long have we been playing? 40 minutes. 40 ish. minutes. Alright, uh, I guess they probably went down to the dungeon? Did they? Do you know? I wonder why King Erwin took we Prince Nudel downstairs with him. I just hope they're all right, both of them. Okay, cool. There you go. What? What, what are, are you, you doing? doing? <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just um a piece of wool. You're about to die. <laughs> yeah. We should be able to get out through here. Oh, oh no. Why does your palace not have any secret? Oh, oh I sense him. I smell him. The luminary. Give him to me. There can be no escape. Thank you. Wasn't that? Just you try and take him. are everywhere. What are we going to do, Erwin? If they've made it this far around the castle, they must have the place surrounded. We'll have to use the tunnels this way. Well, isn't that where you're going? I guess he was just going out the main door. I suppose. I'm gonna save this little girl and... Mordigan ordered me to take a, make a bonfire of humans and burn this castle to the ground, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, all these people are gonna die anyway. I know, but makes they're already dead. They're already dead. We're literally just in a memory, mm. unless we're not. I mean, we are picking up items. Um. Thank goodness, the monster's gone. Now I get him away to look for that prize fairy who left me in the lurch and give him a piece of my mind. <laughs> Man. Uh, is that really the thing you need to be thinking about right now? Know. I'm not helping you with this guy. Uh, I guess that's the door which I can't go out, right? Go the other direction. Yeah. So we might be able to go up this door. I, I hope King Ewan and the wee one made it out okay. And oh, Lady Eleanor as well. They, the door they went through leads to, uh, to the underground passage way. If they, if they can get through there and out the castle, there's oh, no, there's hope for Dindrasil yet. Okay. Uh, this door? Yeah. Oh. Not that door. I would have thought so. Guy's hiding in the corner. It's not gonna help him. But that's all right. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do. Oh, okay. Secret tunnel. <gasps> secret tunnel. Yes. Every good castle needs a secret tunnel, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Quickly, in we go, before the monsters find us. They're just gonna leave the door open behind them. Yeah. Your classic fail. We'll close the door. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Nope. Okay. All right. Okay, everybody. So um, we didn't plan to stop here, but the episode became gigantic because like we couldn't get to a save point. An hour twenty. So we are just going to cut it right here at the spot that Iza has chosen. Yep. And then we'll pick up in the next episode. So we'll see you then, and hope you are enjoying this and the cliffhanger that we are no doubt leaving <laughs> you on. See you then. Bye. Bye.